Hello, this is WWJDTV1, the JTT10 Minecraft, bringing to you another video. Um, not to do video. What? Uh, we're going to be doing not to do Tomb of the Lost Queen. Uh, this is part two. Uh, once again, I'm trying to keep each video within six, uh, 30 minutes, so let's get back on it. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Professor Boyle was supposedly injured by a lightning strike, but the medical reports state that he was struck in the head with a blunt instrument. No, that can't be. That's what he said. This is serious. I know. Someone attacked him. Do not be so hasty. We don't know what happened. But it's best you be careful anyway. I think Professor Boyle was attacked. Do you have any evidence? No, it's just a guess. If I'm wrong and it's an accident, then no harm done. If I just assume it was an accident and let his attacker get away with it, who knows who will get hurt next? You are very shrewd. <laughs> what do you think about Professor Boyle? He's lucky to be alive. It's a good thing professors have such thick skulls. Did you two get along? Get along? I know him. I respect his work. Were you okay with Professor Boyle working the site with you? No. Why not? When you are the best, like I am the best, no one else can ever help. No, they only get in your way. But Professor Boyle is one of the best archaeologists working today. He wouldn't be getting in your way. One of the best? <laughs> I am the best. That's why this site is mine. I'd better get going. Yeah. See you later. My dictionary could help translate that. No. Never enter where? A crunch potato let you found inside in the cabin. Um, anyone who does not know this Okay. Let's figure out where I have to go first off by getting into the next. I I want to go to Tunnel 2. This tunnel 2. This is approximately where the other amulet pieces were found. I need to find the right tool to clear this away. Okay, so that's an That's fine. The bird tire! It's stuck! See ya. Goodbye. It looks like the red scarab is missing. must be the Queen's titles John mentioned in his notes. It looks like a hieroglyph appears in the bottom row when the column contains only one type of hieroglyph. I need to rearrange the pieces so the bottom reveals the hidden message.
My dictionary could help translate that. A queen is buried here. I knew it. I'm not touching that. It comes with a third idea. You don't touch the end and let me know what's right. I want someone else open. I don't want to die right now. Let's get some status of the bow. Ooh, a new bow. Mm. One that I like for the let's see. Uh, Better. Ooh. Ooh. You have reached Spide. Your call may be monitored by government agencies intent on suppressing all evidence of alien activities and also for training purposes. Thank you for calling Spide. Tickets for the next lecture by Sunny June are now on sale. All galactic currencies accepted. No materializing in the lobby, please. Okay. Joshua, I think you're supposed to be back to you. Wait. Okay, so why? Um, Ooh, wow. Nancy Drew. Oh, fancy, dear. I'm so glad you called. I've been having the most infuriating problem with my internet. This is Nancy Drew. Oh, you young people are so refreshing, always in search of new identities. The problem is that I downloaded this program called Weather Monkey. At my age, it's important that I keep abreast of all meteorological developments. But now I'm starting a new book, and I can't focus on my work because the weather monkey keeps yelling the weather at me. Maybe you should uninstall it? I will do no such thing. That would be tantamount to murder. <sighs> Maybe turn it down? Brilliant and fantastic. Oh, yes, Samantha, you are a ticket. I would love to help you, but uh, how do I know you again? Nancy, Drew... 
We've met a few times. Aha, now I remember you. If life were a good book, you'd be my favorite reoccurring character. I'm in Egypt, and I need your help. Egypt? <laughs> well, why didn't you say that instead of chattering away about my internet problems? I don't know how to respond to that. I read your book, and I thought maybe you could help. You found my book while you were in Egypt. <gasps> the serendipity is as delectable as Chateaubriand smothered in lavender lemon juice. I am at your disposal. I didn't exactly find it. You sent it to me. You even signed it. Oh, dear. I sign and send lots of things. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, sorry. Um, let's see. Have you heard of an expedition that went off in search of Nefertari years ago? Oh, yes. The team in which everyone died. Is that the one? Yes. Do you think that story is true? Oh, heavens, yes. It's deadly out there in the desert. Think about it. You're going out there in search of dead bodies. There must be a reason they're in favor of the area. But this expedition wasn't searching for QV-66, right? Indeed not. That had already been discovered. They were searching for Nefertari's mummy. What do you think happened to them? Oh, it's best you not concern yourself about that now, given your current location. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Have you heard of Abdullah? <gasps> yes, yes I have. He is December on my Men of Archaeology calendar. You're kidding me. Does that exist? It existed the second I made it. Is he there with you? Yes. He seems full of himself. He is? Oh, I am not an advocate of pulpy romance novels. But if I were, I'd call that an archable trait. In Chapter 1, he'd swagger into the excavation site, the picture of a rascal with his dusty leather like jacket and decidedly European haircut, his cocky ne'er-do-well smirk displaying his perfectly white teeth, Did and I by the end he'd be sweetly holding flowers Again. and saying, Professor Hotchkiss, I'm dying to discuss your latest publication. A colleague of mine has guilted me into editing her latest romance novel, and I must say, I cannot wait until the page is completed. Reading page after page is absolutely wreaking havoc on my mental Well, even if I did, Anyway, what were we talking about? I no longer know. Abdullah, that's what. He's a cold-blooded hotshot with only one setting. Success. Oh, sorry. I've also been helping my nephew break into the movie trailer business. Oh, Hotchkiss, why must you always burn the candle at both ends? He's a good archaeologist who knows Egypt inside and out. He could teach you a thing or two, just don't pick up the attitude. What do you know about Nefertari? <gasps> ah, a love story. I'll break out the tissue papyrus because when I'm done, there won't be a dry Horus in the house. Uh, what? Look it up, dear. Ramses II and Nefertari shared a love so vast, the world could scarcely contain it. I'm talking about the kind of love you spelled... Capital L, capital O, heart instead of a V, capital E. They stood side by side and ruled the world, but as they saw the years stretch out before them, they were keenly aware that a handful of decades would never cut it. They needed to be together always. That's sweet. And relevant. The ancient Egyptians believed that life was little more than a dress rehearsal for eternity. I found records that they concocted a plan to be together forever, side by side. Why not be buried side by side? They foresaw a volatile future for their kingdom, and they were correct. They knew they would have to enact safeguards. That's why in 1904, when QV-66, the so-called tomb of Nefertari, was found, her body was not there. What are the chances we found Nefertari's tomb? If I were a gambling Hotchkiss, I'd say 60-40. I still don't get all this business with QV-66. Why build a fake tomb? For the same reason, I never carry my passport in my purse when I travel. Some things are too valuable to leave in a tempting place. You mentioned an expedition that found QV-66, Nefertari's tomb. 
It was one of the most significant finds in archaeology. They call it the Sistine Chapel of Egypt. It's where my fascination with the royalty of Egypt was born. The color alone took my breath away. We think of ancient Egypt as being a subdued sand color, but it was a riotous display with all the visual delights of a midsummer gelato shop cooler case. And you don't think Nefertari was entombed there? They only found kneecaps, which supposedly means that her tomb was robbed. You disagree? I do. What good is the mummy without the context? It's the placement in the tomb that makes the mummy valuable. Why is Nefertari so important? There are two queens I find most fascinating in ancient Egypt, and for exactly the same reason. They were hidden. Hatshepsut is the first. I think I've heard of her. She was the pharaoh that was almost removed from the historical record, right? Exactly! Twenty-some years of peace and stability, and after she dies, but most the thirds, ancient cronies try to erase her from the record. Why? Jealousy, revenge, fear that his reign would never equal hers. You name it, but you can't keep a good woman down. Despite the efforts of Thutmose Third's supporters, her legacy endured. And Nefertari? In my opinion, she's the opposite. She was obsessively preserved in the historical record, but it was her tomb that was hidden. So, at the moment, um... I think it's uh, due, to the, due to the fact that she is not at the big type, you can trust her with uh, sensitive information. How sure are you that Nefertari's tomb was hidden? There was something strange about QV-66. I think that might be why it is off limits to this day. It is? To you and me, at the very least. There is a rumor that the tomb has a clue to the true location of Nefertari's mummy. Really? Who knows? I'll tell you this. I didn't have time to read all of the hieroglyphs, but I noticed that the syntax was a little, shall we say, wonky? I don't know how hieroglyph syntax could be non-wonky. True, but it was almost as if Nefertari and Ramses II had their own language. I'd better get going. Bye, dear. Go back to it. Okay, so to open we may have left. Okay, Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Did that. That's done. Check. Find the note. Not do that. That's done. Haven't done that. Oh, um, I need to finish this. Find them! No, but find them a place so it's just there. Oh, and no. Got it. Hey, do you want to put me in the tube? Dub dub, you say you see this? Oh, oh, yeah, tasty. Let's be, uh, let's, let's, uh, yeah, we yeah. might have. Don't tell me what's in the strategy guy. Don't tell me what's in the strategy guy. Don't tell me what's in the strategy guy. Strategy guy, people want to know what they're doing. I, on the other hand, do not. I wonder if you can get the guy doing this. I might want not want to. Hi. What do you think of Abdullah? Say what you want about how he behaves. He's earned it. I've heard the opposite. I've studied his career. He's a bit of a jerk, but let's face it. When you think of archaeology, you think of him. He's the best. A decade of dedicated study. Okay, I guess you have a point. Thanks. It just bothers me when people are critical of him. He's sort of a hero of mine. Bye. Later. Ah. 
Oops. He got the flashlight. Whoa, what are you doing? I think we found the tomb. I've got to see this myself. Brilliant. Who is that? It's magnificent. What is this? Look at the hieroglyphs. There is something very important here. It's the curse. Everyone, get out of here. Oh, if I can just get this light to turn back on. Now! Hi. Bye bye. Later. Hi. Abdullah seems confused by the hieroglyphs in the tomb. Really? You sound surprised. <laughs> Astonished, dumbfounded, uh, with a twist of smug thrown in to soothe my ego. So, if he's confused... Then it is confusing. He's one of the brightest minds in the field. If he's dumped, something unique is going on here. Lily seemed upset about me doing any work here. <laughs> Show me a PhD student who isn't upset about something, and I'll build you your very own pyramid. Why would she want to keep me away from your work? I have no clue. If she wants to play at being in charge, let her. It'll save you a lot of headaches. What do you know about Lily? Not much. She's with Abdullah's team. It's just strange that she's out there. Why? I never say a critical word about a student, but uh, the archaeology community is small. People talk. <laughs> I guess all I'm going to say is it's surprising Abdullah put her on his team. I wonder you can't just leave it at that. Surprised. The curiosity center of my brain is going to go into full meltdown. I can't, Nancy. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about it. What do you know about Abdullah? Mm, he's almost as brilliant as he thinks he is. He seems a little full of himself. <laughs> a little? With that amount of swagger, you'd think he invented sand. Do you think he's behind your attack? Uh, I don't think so. This isn't the first time we've butted heads. I think that if he were to attack me, he wouldn't sneak up from behind. How's the recovery coming? Good. I am at the point where watching television is tedious again, so that's a good sign. TV is very frustrating for the solution-oriented personality. I don't think I've heard that before. It's true. I find myself yelling, test your hypothesis before acting on it at all of the sitcoms. Truthfully, I'm still feeling a little woozy. As soon as I can stand without feeling dizzy, I am on my way back to the site. Even if I have to sneak out of here. Bye. Bye. Well, apparently I can't talk to anyone who Hello. Not to be rude, but who are you? Why are you here? I could ask the same of you, but I won't. I'm Dylan Carter, to answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. I'm Nancy Drew. Brilliant! Well, good chat. Uh, mustn't keep you from your duties. Do you really think this is Nefertari's tomb? It better be, otherwise I'm very lost. What does that mean? She's why I'm here. As a tour guide, I love the sites that tell a story. And Ramses I and Nefertari have the making of a classic love story, if we can find her here. You mean Ramses the Second, right? I do? I mean, yes, I, I, I do. Of course. Strange life being a king. You get everything but your own name. What do you think of Abdullah? He's got quite the ego. But I'm sure he deserves it. What makes you say that? If he didn't, no one would put up with him. History's great pioneers always tend to be a bit prickly. 
sure. He's a tyrant, but he's supposed to be the best in his field. Do you think he is? Well, who knows if it's true? He's either the best or the guy who says, I'm the best, the loudest. Unfortunately, either one of those two things works equally well. You know, he's just on the edge. What do you mean? He's close to being known the world over. He must have gotten a glimpse of what that would be like. I wonder what he'd do to make it over that last hurdle. Why are you hanging out here outside instead of going into the tomb? Why aren't you hanging out outside? I'm a little busy right now. When you come to your senses, I'll still be here. You know why England tried to take over the world? Boredom? Because we've got everything you need. Except for the sum. You know why we stopped trying to take over the world? Because everyone else got sick of it? That they did. Is the real reason you're hanging out here because you're not cleared to actually go into the site? I was hoping we'd be able to get over that little bump in the road before that cat got out. What do you do, exactly? As a tour guide, I show the world to those who want to see it. It's the best job on the planet, next to lion tamer or astronaut. Where do you give tours? All throughout Egypt. That sounds like a fantastic job, but why aren't you leading a tour now? It's getting very competitive these days. I need every advantage I can get. Well, that's why I'm here, to be perfectly on the level I have to be. Since you're a tour guide, can you give me any information about Egypt I might need to know? Sure, here. I'll let you go. Come back anytime. Okay, so, uh, very quickly, um, I might not be talking a whole bunch. Uh, sometimes if it is getting really interesting, uh, really interesting for them, there's a lot of people who are talking. Because I don't want to interrupt people. The sandstorm did not scare you away. It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get me to leave. Shh! Do not tempt the Anunnaki. The what? I should not have even spoken their name. Disregard that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Anunnaki. Oh, blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way. But if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Why are you here? Well, I can't exactly be there, now can I? That would make no sense. Are you worried about the curse? Who could be worried about a curse at a time like this? A time like what? <laughs> the makers. The original architects. They're watching. Who are you talking about? Nancy, they can't hear you. You do not have to pretend. I'm not pretending. What are you talking about? How could you not know? This is the cradle of civilization. Right. Here we were born, and like all infants, this is where we were taught. Taught what? To be human. We didn't just figure that out. But for millennia we lived in caves, terrified of the very earth, of fire and wind and lightning. We cowered and dug down into the earth. But one thing of all humans, we are curious. One night, our ancestors saw the sky catch fire, and the brave ones left their caves and walked into the light. And there they met the Anu... The teachers. I don't follow. They brought us to the next level of consciousness, and in return we built them the pyramids. Well, okay, that's... Uh, is she Sunny June? She could be Sunny June. No, she... I'm not so sure I agree with you on this one. If aliens built the pyramids, why were human leaders buried inside? They were not just rulers on Earth. They were the Chosen, the favorite of the Anunnaki. Well, at least she thought that would do. If we built the pyramids with the aliens, why did they all just leave? Oh, they didn't leave. They're all around us. Do you want me to call them? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall, and they have the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. Fine. When did you become okay. so interested in aliens? <laughs> yeah. Sunny June. I took his Are You Alien or Alien Out course. Changed my life. 
Did you know that aliens were there at every major human milestone, with the exception of the moon landing? All right, I'll bite. Why? Because it was a rude thing to do, and they wanted no part of it. <laughs> Who is Sunny June? I've seen his name everywhere, but we've never met. I can't explain it all to you, not now. He's special. He's met them. Met whom? You don't make this easy, do you? <laughs> to be fair, neither do you. True. The Anunnaki. He's spoken to them. He knows that they're on their way. And now she just said the name again. <laughs> I think she Katie. She has got him. Yeah. I'm still not a believer. Look around. This temple is proof. There is no way all of this could have been built without their help. All those things seem like human accomplishments to me. As they were designed to look. But I had hoped that you could see the strings and not just the puppet. Bye bye. Bye. I think that she is just weird. Um, I think you can get to play it. Yeah. I think oh, uh, let me call it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I. First, I knew get hydrated, then I need to figure out how to move. Wait, what was that? Heart. Yeah, I'm gonna. I saw oh. something. Oh. That's the idea. Yeah. That's the head. Wait, that's the wrong head. That should be left with them not the right. Yeah! Because it's not the wrong sense, it's just not the right. Flashlight's dead. I'll need to find another light source. Um, well, I... It left? looks like someone was tampering with these wires. Someone... Well, so now we know that someone... Is that we now know it's Fabricant and not just any thing. As I um, asked um, in every... I, 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 I suspected a flip, but it's a like... Is there a lamp uh, one of the Yes, there's a lamp somewhere. Go with the middle of the field. We'll turn around... Move it. And you Oh, well, let's check out in the other thing. At least we have lamp of the layer now. Here we go. No, not that. I want the lamp. Get the lamp. The lamp is off limits to me. Because that would blow something up. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, that that's an interesting that scene. You blew up the. <laughs> you blew up the damn. Hello. Thing. Do you think this really is Nefertari's tomb? Oh, I really hope so. Why isn't she in the tomb in the Valley of the Queens? There could be a lot of reasons. The worst case is grave robbers, but we really don't think that's the case. Why not? Because her valuables were found, but her body wasn't. Doesn't make sense. We think she was hidden. Ramses II was known to be very protective, and he was very concerned about the afterlife. It's possible Ramses built a false tomb to make sure she'd be undisturbed. There are many stories of his love for her, but we don't know how true they are. If he went through so much trouble, don't you feel strange about disturbing her tomb? No. Someone will do it eventually. If we get there first, she'll be treated with respect, and she'll truly get to live on forever. If someone else finds her, she'll go to the highest bidder. If you're so interested in Nefertari, why aren't you below? Promise you won't make fun of me? Sure. I'm a woman of science, okay? But the curse thing rattled me. I need to do research now anyway. I'd prefer to do it where nothing will fall on me. And maybe get a little FaceTime with a certain British someone. Okay, so very quickly, um... It Goodbye. Can, it, See ya. Um... I'm going to stop your clearing here. I'm uh, I'm probably going to end up continuing on. Probably going to continue on past here. So this, uh, these first two videos are going to be truly blind. From now on, I'm actually going to be playing a little bit. So I hope to see you soon. And well. Audio?